what's up everybody welcome on back to the channel welcome on back to the empire it has been a while since i've recorded this um i actually forgot i was a totodile <laughs> uh, but let's jump back in and see what today's adventure has in store for us hey laurel's out there sleeping huh oh no haha <laughs> sorry i was so excited about today i've been waiting here since dawn i must have fallen asleep Anyway, today marks the start of our rescue team. Let's always do our best. But, um, we don't have any job offers yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe there's something in the mailbox. Or we'll check the mailbox. The mailbox contained a rescue team starter set. I knew it'd be there. It's the rescue team starter set. They always give you one if you start a rescue team. Or we'll open the rescue team starter set. There was a rescue team badge inside. There was a toolbox inside, too. There was also an issue of Pokemon News inside. Yes, there are some good things here. First off, the rescue team badge. It shows that we're a rescue team. This is a toolbox. Use it to carry items you find in dungeons. Let's put the stuff Butterfree gave us in here for now. Items are very useful, so let's use them on our adventures. And finally, a copy of the Pokemon News. It's useful for rescue teams. I'll put the Pokemon News in the mailbox. You should read it later on. Anything else? Is there any other mail? Maybe not. Or we'll check the mailbox, but the mailbox was empty. Okay, so there's not any mail for us after all. If there were any rescue jobs, we would be getting mail, but nobody knows about us since we're such a new team, I guess. <laughs> oh, I wonder what that could be. I right, check the mailbox. Maybe it's a rescue job offer. What does it say? Austin read the letter. Bzz, bzz, bzz. I heard about you from Caterpie. Please, we need your help. Magnemite is in trouble. A strange electromagnetic wave flowed through a dungeon, and it stuck Magnemite and Magnemite together. That isn't enough to form a Magneton. It's not complete the way it is now. Please, we need help. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Magnemite's friend. What do you think? Do you think we should go? Yes, let's go. That's the spirit. Let's do our best. Huzzah! Let's go for it. Woohoo! Alright, so we're going to Thunder Wave Cave. Oh, you are here. Bzz, 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 bzz. My friends are in this cavern. Bzz, bzz. My friends should be on B6, the bottom 6th floor. Please help them. Alright, let's jump in. Ooh, the way told by one's a little wonky, huh? Thunder Wave Cave. B1. Old B. Oh my lord, you go so fast. Alright, apples are nice. Oh, uh, I forgot how to play already. I. No, Sting, I'm hitting the wrong button. Oh, uh, let's Ice Fang. More Woken Ember. Beautiful. Down goes Rattata. Okay, so it looks like we're going through this pretty good. It's been real easy. Considering we've only ran into a Rattata. This. Dang it! Oh, this water gun. Then, the ember. Ember. Oh, let's go. I didn't even have to get a hit. We love that. And there's no other items here, so let's go on down. I feel like this is a little too long. Let's burn my game volume down a bit. Okay. Let's go. Hmm. Either way, we're going to wake them both up. We're going to back in. There we go. Good idea, game. Oh, I'd use charge. No, I didn't want to move. Stink. Well, Ice Fang. Maybe we'll get a freeze. Yeah, we got the freeze. And we'll water gun. Beautiful. Nicely done. Our belly is still in is still in good shape. Picked up an ether. We picked up an orange berry. Okay. We're going through the tunnel per or this dungeon pretty good. Ah, oh, come on. I'm sick of all the tutorial help. I figured it out. Bam, water gun. Booyah. All right, so we're already on the, the third floor. The, 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 the third floor, I can talk. Um, okay, so we're on the third floor. Ow. Jerk. Will my water gun reach that far? It will. Nice. His quick attack went two spaces, huh? Interesting. That's good to know. Technically, we could keep going, right? We can just keep making our way down, but I kind of want to see what else is in this bottom floor. I want to get as many items as I possibly can. Do we level up? 
Hey, leveled up. All right. Plus, it's always going to get that XP. Okay, let's see what item is down here. So we have a, uh, another apple. We love those. We need the apples. Especially later on in the game. Make sure we don't go hungry. Okay, is this just going to loop for us? It will. There's two Pokemon up there, but I'm not going to chase them. We'll just keep going down. Now that we got all the items, let's head down to the fourth floor. Okay, leave me alone. Okay, so we have an item here. Okay. Poochiana, we're going to Ice Fang. And he became frozen with we'll Metal Claw. Nice. Let's pick up the Ross Berry. Nicely done, Laurel. Uh, we're going to Water Gun, because that'll hit. And then the Ember. Nice. Level up. Laurel to level 6. Beautiful. Excellent. I've leveled up. She's trying to learn Smokescreen. Okay, what moves can we learn? Um, You know what, though? Let's actually get rid of Double Kick for it. Yeah. Uh, yes. Believe it or not. I actually would prefer her to know Smokescreen. Might actually help us. How far does Water Gun reach? Not that far. But it will reach there. And down goes Puchiana. And all the Pokemon are gone from here. The fifth floor! Man, this is going to be a quick video, huh? Oh, uh, that's not fun. I don't like the Howl. Ice Fang? I thought that should be... Well, never mind. Apparently the Howl didn't matter. Voltorb flinched? Oh, we can get a flinch or a freeze with Ice Fang? Oh, that's huge. That, that's a game changer. Oh, that's Rattata's gone. Okay. We might have the most broken combination in the, of this game I've ever seen. Jeez, a prime mini. Okay. Let's go. Up, 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 up. Uh, no, I don't mean to use auto mode. I meant to do that. I keep hitting L when I mean to hit Z or LZ, whatever. Yeah. It'll quickly use multiple moves in a row. That's great. You know, I probably should have an apple, but I don't think there's a reason to waste one. Because we're almost out of here. That number's going to KO Voltorb. Question is, is B6 going to be the bottom bottom, or do I have to find them in B6? I think B6 is the bottom bottom. Yeah, there we go. So I didn't need to waste an apple. That's perfect. Oh, there they are. Let's get them out safely. Awesome. Successfully completed the job at Thunder Wave Cave. Our body separated. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Rejoice. Bzz, 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 bzz. Yay. Bzz, 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 bzz. Yay. Bzz, 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 bzz. Be thankful, you two. You are our heroes. Thank you. Bzz, 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 bzz. We got a big apple. An Orenberry. 650 Poke Money. Nice. Good stuff. So I'm glad our rescue mission went so well today. I need to confess, since that was our first job as a rescue team, I was really, really nervous. I can't believe how tired I am. I'm going to go home and get some sleep. Let's do good again tomorrow. See you. Look at us sleep in our little, like, stone lily pad thing. Where? Where am I? Maybe... Is this a dream? Oh. There's someone here. Who is it? Someone I know? Hmm. I can't remember. Ba -bum -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum -bum. We might be able to get a second one in, a uh, second uh, dungeon in here. I think I dreamt something, but I can't quite remember what that dream was about. Oh well, today's another day of rescues. I wonder if I have any mail. Better check the mailboxes. I, I really... I was when this game first was announced a few years ago, I was kinda of torn in the art style, but I kinda of like it. So there's no help that we get. Good morning, Austin. Aren't you up early? Oh, so you checked the mailbox? So was there anything? Were there any rescue requests? Uh there's nothing? Hmm, I guess that makes sense. After all, we've only just begun. 
Oh, well, we should go to Pokemon Square. We should check the Pelipper Post Office. I think they'll have jobs posted. Pokemon Square is over here. Let's go. Go to the Pokemon Square. Great. This is Pokemon Square. Bum, 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 bum. The Kecleon store. That's the Kecleon shop. You can buy and sell items there. Hello, Kecleons. Hi, Lombre. Hi, Snubble. That's uh, Felicity Bank. You can save your money there. Hi, Persian. This is the Golpin Link Shop. Golpin can link moves for you. Huh? What's linking? Well, if you link moves, you can use them together at the same time. You should just ask Golpin for details. This is Kangaskhan Storage. If you store items here, they'll be safe. You should store important items here before you go out to a dungeon. Kangaskhan, Bellsprout, hello. Hope you're having a wonderful time. And over there is the Makahita Dojo. Hey, Makahita! At the dojo, you can never learn or get training, or you can learn or get training at, on various maneuvers used in dungeons. What do you think? The businesses here help us. True. Oh, and there's also the Pelipper Post Office. That's up past here. I think we can get rescue job information there. So how about we go to the Pelipper Post Office first? Let's go. Wee. Let's go flying. That shop, I think, opens up later in the game. That building is the Pelipper Post Office. Woo, look at the Pelipper. Look at them all flying around, delivering the mail, like good Pelipper. Almost like Harry Potter owls. This is where information is gathered from Pokemon needing rescue. Let's see, have a look at this bulletin board. It lists rescue jobs. Check it out. Bulletin board. Ooh. Um, we... I'm going to take all of these. Okay. Famous stone wanted for nostalgia. I would imagine a leaf stone? Armpole has been waiting forever. Someone please escort me. I'm lost in a battle. Someone please help. Please take me to Minen. I'm very lonely. Please take me with you. Okay. So we have four jobs that we can do. See, there were jobs listed, right? If you want to do a rescue job, choose the job and then go to the dungeon that's indicated. You can go to the dungeons by taking the path near the base. Straight down the street. While we're starting out, we should handle the jobs that are posted here. Doing that should get our team some recognition. That should pull in job offers to our mailbox soon. Alright, so let's go back here. Also, today I'm recording this. I just finished up. I shouldn't say just a few hours ago. I finished up a great two and a half hour stream. Oh my goodness, it was so much fun playing Pokemon Unite. Uh, make sure you, got, you join us over there. We play with uh, uh, subscribers or, or people watching and viewers. And I'm telling you, we have a great time. So once we receive a job, let's go to the dungeon and solve the Pokemon's troubles. All right, let's go. I'm telling you, it was one of the most fun streams I've ever had. If you were there, thank you so much for being a part of it. I had, it was a blast. It was so much fun. I can't wait till we do it again here soon. Uh, not the day that this goes up, but tomorrow for me personally, this I'm recording this on Monday. Uh, probably be doing it again tomorrow, if not even tonight. So, because uh, I didn't know if I was gonna be able to record in between, so I might be able to go live tonight. Let me tell you, it's gonna be. If I do, it's gonna be awesome. I'm excited about it. It's Ice Fang, the Sunkern. Okay, what are we gonna get? Is this a Reviver Seed? Oh, we love those. Reviver Seeds are gonna be crucial for us. I don't know how we can Nuzlocke this game. I don't want to. I'm not going to. This is just a, a Let's Play of it. But a Nuzlocke of this would be pretty difficult. This game gets kind of hard. Uh, later on. So that's super effective. Okay. But Ice Fang is super effective on you. I missed! Oh, but the Ember is super effective. And that'll be the win victor. Okay. We'll take the Poke Coins. We found the stairs, but we're just going to keep on moving. Let's navigate our way through the whole thing. Okay. Whoops. Let's keep Plusle safe. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I was scratching my eye. No, I'm asleep. Oh, that Plusle though is going to hit. Oh, nice. I'm being controlled. What the heck? I think that's new. That was awesome. And kind of terrifying at the same time. Sheesh. 
go down the street or down the stairs. Tiny Woods B2. You arrived at the floor where mine it is. Alright. Let's, um, there's the Pekka Bear. And there's mine in. Next time, plus I'll move next to mine in. The, uh... No, Laurel. Stop it. Dang it! <laughs> it's not what I'm wanting to do here. Alright, nicely, there we go. Uh, there we go. Yay, you successfully brought Puzzle to mine in. Mine in is happy. Dun -dun -dun -dun, job is completed. We're gonna finish up this dungeon. Thank you so much. Austin held up the rescue badge. Mine and the other Pokemon gained a magical power. Pew! There they go. Away oh, they go. Uh, no. I'm gonna finish up the dungeon here. I really do. Um, yeah. Can we step on this? Nope. It doesn't matter. Oh, this poor Sunken just got smoked. Alright. Ember, I think, got more powerful. Yeah. You like that. Ice Fang? Bang! Oh, the Ice Fang get upgraded? Yes! Ice Fang is a move we're going to be keeping this entire playthrough, I think. Unless I get Ice Beam mate. Well, no, because technically Totodile is more physical. So, I think Ice Fang is definitely the play. I don't know if this game does physical and special splits, I think. But I'm not really sure. I might have to look that up. Honestly. Uh, yes, now I will escape. Yes. Ah, oh, crap! No requests are left for this dungeon. Would you like to escape from the dungeon? Yes. Do you really want to escape? Yes! I don't really have a reason to be there any longer. We successfully completed the job at Tiny Woods. Thank you for taking me to my beloved Minin. This is your reward. You got a Max Elixir and a Weather Lock Orb, which will come in later. Or come in handy later. The items you received have been sent to storage. You like that. Didn't we do good today? Let's call it a night and get some rest. Okay, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. The next morning. All right, everybody. That's all the time we, that we have for today. That was rough. Let me try that again. That's all the time that we have for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had a wonderful time. If you did, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Join the family. Join the Empire. Together we shall rule the galaxy. Have a great rest of your day. And may the Force be with you. Always. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. However, I just want to take a few minutes to tell you about something that is very important. This channel was made to have a great time playing video games, but there's so much more than that. This channel was made to show Jesus Christ to an audience that may not ever hear how great he truly is. Jesus Christ loves you so much he gave up all of heaven just for you. He came here, was born in a stall. His first breath was of manure. He lived a perfect life for 33 years and then died on a cross just for you. He died even for those that put him there. After three days, he rose again, and now he is in heaven waiting for the right time to call his children home. Contrary to popular belief, not everyone is a child of God. I would like to give you the opportunity to become one. Hell is a real place. It's a terrible place. It's a place filled with fire, gnashing of teeth. It's an eternal darkness, an eternal separation from God, and I don't want any of you to go there. The Bible says in Romans chapter 3 and verse 10, As it is written, there is none righteous. No, not one. It's a pretty easy verse to understand. Nobody is perfect, and everyone has done something wrong in their life other than Jesus Christ. The Bible goes on to say in Romans chapter 3 and verse 23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans chapter 5 and verse 8 says, But God commendeth his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans chapter 6 and verse 23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The payment for us doing things wrong is to die. I'm sure glad that verse doesn't end there, though. It goes on to say that the gift of God, not from God, the gift of God, he gave himself. The gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So how do we get saved? Jesus died for us. He loves us. So what do we have to do? Do we have to give money? Do we have to do uh, 55 push-ups, 500 push-ups? Do we have to uh, be a good person? No. We can never be good enough. We can never give enough money. We can never be baptized enough times. We can never do any of these things that the world tries to tell us. Jesus Christ made it as easy for us as possible. He did all the hard work. The Bible tells us in Romans chapter 10 and verse 9 and 10, 
that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. I'm sure glad I don't have to give money to get to heaven, because I don't have a whole lot of it. I'm sure glad that I don't have to be good, because I can never be good enough. I'm sure glad I don't need to be baptized. The thief on the cross that died with Jesus, it's not like the Roman soldiers let him off to dump him in water and then bring him back up and nail him again. No. All we have to do is believe in Jesus Christ to get to heaven. That's that's it. That's how we get saved. The Bible says in Romans chapter 10, 13, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Not whosoever is you. That whosoever is me. That whosoever is the worst person we could possibly think of. Jesus Christ died and paid for everything. Anybody can be saved. It doesn't matter what your past is. It doesn't matter what you're doing now. It doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter what you're going to do. Jesus Christ died for you knowing all of that. And still says, just believe in me and you get to go to heaven. I'm going to lead you in a prayer. And it's not the prayer that saves you. But it's believing that in Jesus Christ that he's the only way to get to heaven. That's how you get saved. But the prayer, we call it the sinner's prayer. And it goes something like this. And if you would like to be saved, you can say this uh, out loud. You can say it in your head. You can say it right from where you're at. You don't have to be in a church to say it. You can be anywhere. The prayer goes something like this. Dear Jesus, I know I'm a sinner. Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross just for me. And Jesus, the best way I know how, I'm asking you to come into my heart. To save me from all my sins and take me to heaven when I die. Jesus, I don't know everything, but I'm believing in you the best that I know how. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me, for dying for me, and for saving me right now. In Jesus' name, amen. If you believe that, you are now saved and a child of God. That is awesome. It's wonderful. It's going to be great to be able to spend an eternity in heaven with you where there's no more death, no more pain, no more suffering, no more goodbyes. It's a wonderful place filled with people that all love God and that accepted Christ. The Bible goes on to tell us in 1 John chapter 5 verses 11 through 13, and this is the record that God hath given to us eternal life, and this life is in a son. He that hath the son hath life, and he that hath not the son of God hath not life. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the son of God. See, Jesus doesn't want us to question whether we're going to heaven or not. He wants us to know it. He puts a stamp of a guarantee on it. You can't trust really anybody on, your, on their word anymore, but you can trust Christ. He's never lied to you. He's never messed up. He's never made a mistake. He put a stamp of approval. You may know that you have eternal life, and this life is in the Son. So if you accepted Christ as your Savior today, man, I'm rejoicing for you. All of heaven is celebrating. The Bible tells us that all of heaven rejoices over one sinner that repenteth. I sure would like to know that you got saved. Whether you leave a comment or if you want to contact me personally on Twitter, uh, at Skyvorker, that would be great to just get to know that you accepted Christ your Savior. I would love to be able to rejoice with you and to help you along, your, along the way if I can. Thank you guys so much for listening to this, and I hope you did accept Christ your Savior today. God bless. Bye-bye.